Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great today. So, for today's video is another Hello Fresh meal or recipe and today is going to be the citrus pork taco. So this is one of their famous or one of the famous recipes and one of the highly recommended recipes from their um, HelloFresh menu. So today we are going to try this one, all right? So what we have here is another bag of HelloFresh. This one and uh, let's open this right now. All right. So in the bag you have the uh, tortilla and then you're going to have this fresh cilantro which I'm not really a fan of eating uh, cilantro but it gets taste. And also you have the uh, orange and one lime and uh, red onion and you have this, uh, what is this, chili bell pepper. Um, long green pepper <laughs> okay so this is long green pepper and you have this Tex-Mex paste and also you have this warm and smoky southwest spice blend and the last ingredients that I have here is the two sour cream you also have the ground pork that is pretty packed here and it's going to look like this Okay, so this uh, recipe here or package here is good for two person. Let's see if it's going to be for four. The last time that I did a chicken sausage pasta, it actually like a big serving that's so good for person. But let's see how many person can feed this one package here. All right, so let's begin. All right, so to start, we need to prep again. That's the first step. Wash and dry the ingredients, half, Peel and tiny sliced onion, you have to slice it again, quarter lime and half core and thinly slice the green pepper into strip, have orange wrapped chopped cilantro. So this is going to look like this one here. All right, so let's do that. Okay, so let's start first with the onion and let's do this like it says here, it's a thin slice. Alright guys, so now I'm done with the onion. Let's put this in here. Oh, this makes me cry. Alright, so now let's move on to the lime. So let's cut this into four. Alright, and then let's move on to our um, green pepper. Alright, there you go. Let's remove the seed. Okay, and then let's cut this into a very thin slice. Okay, now we are done with our green pepper. Let's put this in here, mix with the other ingredients. Alright, with the orange we have to cut the orange into half, okay. Now we have our orange and then our cilantro is the next one and we have to cut it or chop this. I don't really like cilantro because it gives like aftertaste but in some food I think it's okay. Like it gives more uh, kind of spice, you know, kind of like a kick on the food. Alright guys, so now we are done with step one which is preparing the food or slicing the ingredients and now we are moving on to the step two make pickles and and cream or crema or cream or crema <laughs> all right before that i want to know how long this or the time frame of this um, uh, menu so this is 850 calorie and the cook time is only 30 minutes and you have 10 minutes to prepare all the stuff that you need for this menu or for this recipe. All right, I'm sorry I'm a little bit um, dripping and teary it's because of the onion. Like I hate cutting onions because it makes me cry. <laughs> okay, well the next step is in a small microwave safe bowl, combine one fourth of the onion slice how am I gonna measure that? All right, one quart of the onion, 
juice from the half of the lime, one teaspoon of sugar, and a pinch of salt. So let's do that. Cover it with plastic wrap and microwave for 30 seconds and set aside. Let's do that. All right, so I have my cute little white ball here. So let's start that. All right, so what we need to put is onion, one quart of onion. Okay, I have measuring cup here. <laughs> I wanna try to use this, come on. All right, so one quart of the onion. Let's see how much it's gonna fit in here. <laughs> All right, so let's do one quart of the onion and then you need to put the uh, juice from the half of the lime. Let's do it. Moving on to our uh, one quart teaspoon of sugar, pinch of salt. What we need to do right now is cover with a plastic wrap and microwave for 30 seconds and set aside. And the next step is separate small ball, combine a sour cream, which we have over here, the two sour cream and then um, combine it, so that's a microwave, and then combine it with a 1 4th teaspoon of Southwest Spice. So 1 4th teaspoon of this. All right, and season it with salt and pepper. And uh, season it with salt and pepper. I'm just going to put a little bit of salt, and let's do the pepper. Tear it with water one teaspoon at a time until you receive the bristling mixture. All right, let's do that. One quart water, one at a time, and then kind of mix it, okay. By the way guys, I started this at 5.40. So let's see if we're gonna achieve the 30 minutes. I use one fourth teaspoon of water six times, so let's keep in mind. All right. All right, we are done with the pickles and the crema. Now we are moving to the third step. So that is cook the veggies. So what we need to do is to heat a drizzle of oil in a large pan over the medium high heat and add green pepper and remaining onions and cook stirringly occasionally until brown and tender. That is five to seven minutes time and then season it with salt and pepper. Okay, so let's do that right now. This is medium heat and let's drizzle some oil. All right, now let's add the green pepper. And then let's also add the remaining onions, which is a lot. And then cook and stir occasionally until it's brown. And this is, needs to be in five to seven minutes, so let's to the timer so we are going to wait until it's like brown and then we have to add salt and pepper and then that's it we have to transfer it to like a medium bowl and wipe out the pan so we can prepare the meat after now some of the onions are like a brown color so i think it's the right time to add salt and pepper add some salt let's go ahead and add the last one the pepper so you guys need to sear this occasionally because you don't want to burn the onion and the green pepper too. Remember guys, the, the time frame for this onion and the green pepper is five to 10 minutes to cook. You can use five, you can use seven, it's up to you. But I mean, you know, for me, I use seven just to make it a little like brownish. All right, so we're almost done here. Okay, I can turn it off now. There you have it, you have the ready onion and the pepper. So now we are moving on to the meat. So this is the fourth step. Have to drizzle oil in the pan and then use medium high heat and add a pork and remaining southwest spice. So it's pretty much easy. So that is three to four minutes. Let's do that. All right, so this is the meat that's included in the package and we are going to use this right now. Then we have to add the remaining southwest spice blend. And this is going to be three minutes. All right. So after that, we have another ingredients to mix with that, which is the Tex Mex paste and the juice orange and squeeze the lime juice. 
after. Now that we could also add another salt and pepper and that would be total of another two to three minutes. All right guys, so now we are ready to add our orange. Then the last step is the Tex-Mex paste. Mix it first before you set the timer. Then let's cook this for another two, three minutes. All right guys, so the final step is, or not the final step, the fifth step, because there's six steps, okay? So the fifth step is, while the pork's cooking, wrap the tortilla in a dump paper towel, which is this one, and microwave it until warm and five bowl for 30 seconds. So let's wrap this. I'll just get a paper towel. So that is going to be for 30 seconds only. So the way I do it is just wrap it over here and <laughs> cover it like this. Okay, and then let's put it in a microwave. So this is really looking good. I love the color. Like every time I eat tacos outside, this is what the color that I am looking for. I remember we have a neighbor in our first house and uh, he really good in making tacos, but those are like the potatoes, the small ones. So, but still, it's good. And the color of the meat is like this. All right, so our timer is beeping now, so this meat is done. Let's turn that off, and I'm going to put this in the other side of here, so we will not burn. The meat. All right, guys, so we are in the final step. So it means that. We are ready to eat. All right, so the final step is serve. Divide the tortillas between plate and fill with pork filling and veggies. Drizzle with cream or crema and top with pickled onions. And the cilantro is going to be in the last step. And serve it with the remaining lime wedge on the side. So let's do that then. All right, so we have all our ingredients here. And we have our cilantro. I am going to put the meat in here so you guys can see it too. All right. Another one. I think it depends on how much meat are you going to put in there. All right. Yeah, I think it's only four, two person total. And then I'm going to put the veggies on top. I don't know how much veggies you want to put in there. The last one is the cilantro. I have to make another one, so that is going to be like six. It should be six, but I don't know. My husband loves tacos, so I think this is not going to be enough for him. All right, we're done with the meat, and then now let's move on to the veggies. Right, there's a lot of veggies, actually. I think this is the one that's going to fill the tacos more than the meat, but some people like more meat than veggies. All right, guys, so there you have it. We have six tacos right now, so I started cooking, I think, 5.45, I think. I think it's more than 30 minutes just because I'm talking and preparing some stuff or other stuff. I think that's the thing, but you can all, without talking, without this video, I mean, you can do this uh, in less than 30 minutes. It is very simple, guys. It is so in serving, it is actually only good for two person. So I think the three tacos is not enough for my husband and I only eat two tacos, which is fine because we have to do portion control for our health, all right? It is really beautiful, kind of like you're gonna eat at a restaurant, a very expensive restaurant and how it is, you know, um, the presentation and everything. I just copied it here. I don't have lime here or I don't know if I should put lime. By the way, I did not put cilantro on mine. I just put it on my husband because I don't like cilantro. This really looks delicious. Okay, and this is for my, I like the presentation. The taste, I'm not sure yet if it's going to pass a critic. My only critic here, my only judge here, <laughs> my husband, because he loves tacos. He knows what the taste should be. I can't wait to try it and I am really hungry right now. And let's eat. All right guys, so now I'm going to try this. Okay, let's see if this really tastes good. Okay. Honest opinion, this is not the best tacos that I tried. I tried the um, tacos before that is really, really uh, good, delicious. And this one is kind of average. I don't know. I'm waiting for him to try it. I heard you say something that mm -hmm. it's not the... Uh... Not the best taco? Mmm, it's an average, average. taste piece. Right. It's good, <clears throat> but not the best. Right. Only because of my culture, you know. Yeah, but you know. I know what a taco should yeah. taste like. I'm mm -hmm. an expert taco eater. <laughs> you love tacos. At best, the way I could describe this one, like a taco you would probably sit down eat in restaurants. Mm. 
you know. I don't want to a mention formal it. dining Yeah, restaurant. formal dining area, fine dining, dining in restaurant. All right, guys, so this is an average taste for me and for him, it's the same thing because he knows the taste, the real taste, authentic taco. All right, guys, so I'm back and we are done with this dinner. Actually, this meal is an average for me, my husband, of course, he said it's also an average, but this is the type of food that you, or tacos that you can eat at the dining restaurant. But um, the authenticity, I think those tacos are going to be like in a street store. They usually cook that in a food truck or street. That's what they call it, street tacos. All right, so this is the recipe that we did today. This is the citrus pork taco and with pickle onion and Southwest uh, crema. Again, this is from HelloFresh. This is one of their Hall of Fame recipe, which means that it is one of the most recommended and uh, high review recipe. The next video, guys, is going to be another recipe from HelloFresh, and I'm going to pick one of that in my uh, refrigerator because <laughs> they're all like separate, uh, a separate bag. And yep, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button below if you end up liking this. Video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Please stay safe and God bless you all. Bye.